Hello fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's actually Tuesday the 3rd of September, but the game I'll be playing is from the 1st of September because it's the Impossible Sudoku from the LA Times. Uh, I have, I'm playing this uh, before I head out for work. I've got a small amount of time to play this game. Uh, now, I can't tell whether or not this game is going to involve some Sudoku logic or not. And so, therefore, I'm going to be playing... <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to be playing... Uh, with pencil marks right from the beginning to save time uh, for pairs and stuff like that because it may end up with some kind of a logic game at the end and I just won't have the time to solve it if I don't um, do that I, if I spend too long playing the game without, pen without pencil marks and so I'll be putting in pairs and the like uh, from the beginning so there's a word of warning and I'll be posting this game later in the day so that you've got something to uh, you've got something to watch and, and also my uh, Sudoku channel has something to post because um, <laughs> it's going to be pretty empty otherwise uh, probably for the rest of the day so anyway let's get on with it so LA Times impossible level for uh, this week which was the 1st of September uh, what else Uh, three blocking like this, so we're going to get ourselves a three in that square. Threes down here and down here puts threes into those squares there. Threes down and up there gives us three there. Fours are a pair there. Four blocking across here, across here, and down here gives us four in that square. Four up here, four across there says that's a four. I have managed, I think I managed to play this game without pencil marks uh, last week or two weeks ago, I think. I don't think I played it last week. Um, so, you know, I can see that the game is sometimes doable without pencil marks, but for me, it could just be uh, just too slow. So. Five blocks across there, that's going to give us fives in those squares and also up there. Six across here and down there puts sixes there and also here. Ah, six blocking up here like this, across here, across there. So that's a six, which means that's a six, and this is a deletion. We also have a pair of sixes down there. Seven across here, across there, there's a seven. Seven up here and across there gives us a pair of sevens in those squares. Seven up to the top here puts sevens in those squares there. 7 up here puts 7 in those squares there. Now that's good because we've got 7 blocking this square and this square from down here. So there's only one place for a 7 to appear in that row. It has to be there. Uh, okay. 7s. I'm doing on 8s. Eight. 8s across here and across there. 8 down here. So here's the 8. Now we also know that has to be a 6. And that has to be a six down there, and this is not a six. How are doing on how we're doing on eights? Eight blocks this down here and down here, so there's a pair of eights there. We have eight blocking down here and down there, so a pair of eights there. Eight on this side, across and across there, so a pair of eights up there. I'm blocking up here puts nines into those squares. That gives me a pair of nines over here and nines there. One blocking down here puts ones into those squares. Okay, so we've got one one of these ones blocking this square here and this one blocking this square here. So that's going to be a one up there. And that's got to be a four. And these are deleted. And there's only one number left down here. It's a nine, I think. 
and nine across here and across there will give us nines in those squares. Uh, let's keep going. One down here and one across there puts ones in those squares there. Two across here means the twos are in those squares there and have to be down here. Okay, so we've got a pair of one and two here. And so this has to be three and eight. So no eight allowed up there. Let's remove that candidate eight and let's put an eight in here. This is the only spot for a two now. Let's put it in. That gives us a pair of twos up there. Three across here and three down there gives us three in this square. Three down here and down here means that's a pair of threes there. Four blocking up here and across there gives us four in that square, which means that's a four and this is not. That was the last four. Four and six are both finished already. Like I say, though, you know this game could lead to some Sudoku puzzle at the end, some some Sudoku type thing at the end. Five blocks across here, so here's a five, and it also means fives must be in these squares here. Seven across here puts sevens in those squares. Uh, seven blocking up here. In fact, that's the only seven available now. Ooh, what's going on? Got the wrong thing selected. Seven there, seven there. This is not seven. Delete it. And this must be a nine. That can't be a nine. We have nine blocking across here now, so nine will be in these two squares like this. And that means nine will be blocking across here and giving us nine in those squares up there. Actually, missing digit here is five, isn't it? So... Uh, we've already got a three in this row, so that can't be three. That must be three. This can be removed. And the missing number here is going to be a one. So one blocking across here. That gives a pair of ones in those squares. Actually, seven down here, seven up there, and seven across there means we've got seven in this square already. And that must be a seven, and that can't be a seven. one blocking down here, one is one of these two squares here, that's a one then. We know that has to be a nine, there's one more digit to get here which is five. That's got to be a five down there, this is not a five. Uh, we already have nine in this column, that's got to be a three. I think, if, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, have we got, well it has to be a three anyway. I don't know if we've got all of the candidates there but it doesn't matter because it's the last digit. That's definitely an 8. That definitely is not an 8. And that's the only possible location for 8. And so 2 must go there. 2 blocking up here will put 2s into those squares. Uh, this has to be a 1, I think. So this can't be a 1. That's going to be a 9. Uh, and this is the only space for a 1. 8 is the only digit left. Uh, are we going to get a conundrum at the end? Are we going to get a Sudoku thing at the end or not? Oh, there's only one digit here. That's a 1. 
So mm -hmm. that's a one, that's a two. I don't think we are. I think we've gone past the point. That's not a two. I think we've gone past the point where we might have a Sudoku type solution. I mean, logic, difficult logic solution. Looks like it's not going to be necessary. So five, this is a nine. Ah, uh, two, five, so that's two. There's our five. This is a five as well. Five in this square, one in that square. Well, I've certainly <laughs> played it with time to spare, so it wasn't uh, tough after all. Uh, so I'm sure many of you played that without pencil marks, and I'm, I believe I probably could have done uh, if I'd had the time to spare, but I didn't. So that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.